Hello, welcome to the Stuff and Futurity Tube, did you know? That Good nutrition is one of the most essential things that you should care about in your lifestyle because it works to prevent diseases. Did you know that the stomach, as it is the home of medicine, is also the home of illness? And nutrition standards are the best medicine. And that awareness on issues of good nutrition is important for every person, not just nutritionists. And that your knowledge of good nutrition is an indicator for your awareness and self-esteem? Yes, it is. If you value yourself and your body, we offer you the most important pillars of good nutrition and the latest findings of research and scientists in a simple, concise, and useful way. There is no shortcut to enjoy good health, but there are some simple practices, you can easily incorporate into your lifestyle, no matter how busy you are. We will guide you to nourishing your body, optimizing your well-being, and, best of all getting the vitamins your body needs by eating delicious and real food. ...about changing your perspective. I can't versus I don't. So, an example would be, say you're at a friend's house and they offer you cake or pastries or something like that. Instead of just saying, I can't eat that. Try saying, oh, I don't eat that, but thank you. When you word things differently, you're actually telling yourself and giving yourself credit for believing in not eating that particular food item. When saying things like, I can't eat that, it's actually telling yourself, I can't, I'm punishing myself. I'm not allowed to. That's not true here, okay? You're making the conscious decision to better your life, so I don't eat that. By saying I don't, you're owning that decision, okay? You're confident in that decision and you know yourself. You know what you're doing. Be confident in this. This is your journey and your life. So you don't eat these things. Not I can't because this ain't a punishment, girl. Is to challenge yourself throughout the week intensely. So adding in intense challenges, whether it be nutritional or exercise. So for example, eating super clean a couple days out of the week, like super strictly, or exercising intensely those few days. This is what's gonna help mix up your routine enough to keep it from becoming monotonous and boring. Whether we like to admit it or not, humans are designed for challenge. We actually thrive on challenge. Keeping that incorporated into your routine will not only help you continue going in that direction, and it's going to make your everyday routine seem a lot easier, okay? When starting any routine, you might think it's intense, especially if you're not used to it. But adding in these super intense days, these high, high intensity days, will make the rest of your week, your normal healthy maintenance, not seem like such a burden, in other words. You will kind of adapt to it a lot better. What used to be a heavy duty challenge to you will become your new norm, okay? It's gonna gradually go like a chart, like you're eventually going to get to that level where something that used to be so difficult is now not call it a diet. No such thing. I mean there is, but it's just like quick fixes that never last. So instead of calling it a diet, just simply call it your nutritional standards. That's what I refer to it as. A diet is something that has an end line, okay? That eventually will come to an end. You don't want that. You want this to be an ongoing permanent lifestyle change. I know that people overuse that term diet and it's almost like the norm. It's just what we as a culture have evolved into just constantly saying. But don't be afraid to just stand outside of that, outside of the average, the norm. It's okay, you should be proud of being able to say this. You diet, when there's events coming up, okay? You diet for a wedding or a vacation, you know, just temporary little fixes. But what happens when those days are over? Nutritional standards are a guideline, a permanent guideline that you must meet every single day in your life. That's what makes it a standard, okay? Keeping that standard in mind as something that defines you in your lifestyle is what's gonna keep you believing in it and it's what's gonna keep you from falling off, okay? This is, this is all about permanent. 
behind is to think long term versus short term. So do not get it twisted. You should be thinking both. Okay, you should have short term goals. Absolutely. Because that's what's going to help you right here, right now, every day to slowly get to those long term goals. Long term meaning things like how you see yourself as you age. All right, thinking long term in that sense, not thinking about how long it's going to take you to drop X amount of weight. Get that out of your head. Don't think like that. All right, that's going to discourage you. Think long term as in five, 10 years from now, I will potentially be seeing doctors less. I will be feeling 10 times better, things like that. Yeah, that's a long term investing idea. But having long term just by itself isn't good either because like I said before, it can get very discouraging. You have to have your short term goals, view long term as like a ladder and short term being as the rungs in the ladder. You can't have one without the other. So for me, long term would be things like not having to go see a doctor when I'm middle to late age, okay? Avoiding doctors, that's my long term goal. But short term goal for me would be like eating clean, going to the gym and exercising every single day. These are short term goals that inevitably turn into long term. So gotta have both. It's just so freaking straightforward right here, right now, but this is how I'm gonna wrap it up. Giving yourself time. Patience is a virtue. We all know that you gotta give yourself the much needed respectful time. Things take time, great things especially. So. Investing in yourself isn't a one and done. It is a long term time invested thing. So once you learn pretty much how to change and shift your mindset, change your perspective on health, fitness, wellness, that is the beginning of changing your entire life. In the Your Vitamins series, you will learn exactly what vitamins your body needs, how much you should consume, the best way to get your vitamins, and why you should be getting them from natural food rather than from costly supplements or proceed compounds in a bottle. Noticing that, most minimally processed foods are bursting with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. How many more people have to die though? How many more people have to die before the CDC encourages people not to wait until open heart surgery? to start eating healthy as well. How long is that gonna take though? Just like we don't have to wait until our doctors quit smoking to quit ourselves. We don't have to wait until our doctor takes a nutrition class or cleans up their own diet for changing our own eating habits. Look, it's not your doctor's fault, right? Writes a group of prominent physicians. There is a severe deficiency of nutrition education at all levels of medical training. Right? We just never taught it. Right? We know a plant, whole food, plant-based diet has been proven to reverse our number one killer, protect against type 2 diabetes and cancer. So how has this knowledge affected medical education? It hasn't. Despite the neglect of nutrition and medical education, the public considers physicians to be trusted sources. But if doctors don't know what they're talking about, they could be contributing to diet-related diseases. To stem the surging tide of chronic illness, physicians need to become part of the solution. But we don't have to wait for that to happen. No longer do patients have to be so patient. Doctors no longer hold a professional monopoly on health information. It's been a democratization of knowledge. Right? And so until the system changes, we have to take responsibility for our own health and for our family's health. Right? We can't wait for society to catch up to the science because it's a matter of life and death. In 2015, Dr. Kim Williams became president of the American College of Cardiology. He was asked why he follows his own advice to eat a plant-based diet. He said, I don't mind dying, Dr. Williams replied. I just don't want it to be my fault. Thank you.
if you uh, if you missed last year's talk, I have it on DVD, and the year before that, and the year before that. You should have come to Summerfest. That's it. But um, as well as 25 other DVDs, all proceeds from the sale of my books, DVDs, speaking engagements, all goes to charity. Speaking of which, mark your calendars. December 8th of this year, new book coming out: How Not to Die. Uh, December 8th, very excited about not only a compilation of all my work with all the science, thousands of citations, but also a practical guide. I go through my kind of daily dozen checklist of all the things I try to include my own diet, how much greens to eat, how much beans to eat, how much exercise, how much sleep. In short, what is the best way to get more energy, a stronger immune system, glowing skin, and overall better health? Supplements are not the answer. It's through the foods you eat, not the pills you take. But, why? One, according to top nutrition experts at Harvard Medical School, as well as numerous research studies. Most nutrients are better absorbed and used by the body when consumed from real food rather than a supplement. However, many people need to take pills, powder, and supplements to obtain nutrients and fill the gaps in their diets. Hope these will give more energy, prevent from catching a cold in the winter, or improve the skin or the hair. But actually, the majority of supplements are synthetic and unregulated and may not completely be absorbed by your body. Worse, some are contaminated with other substances and contain ingredients unlisted on the label. For example, a recent investigative report found that there are heavy metals in 40% of 134 brands of protein powders on the market. With little oversight and regulation, taking supplements is a gamble and usually expensive. It only should be done with caution and the guidance of a dietitian. Two, the multi-billion dollar supplement industry has capitalized on people's desire to be healthy and to find that silver bullet that will cure their ills or help to heal their health problems. The truth is taking supplements is often unnecessary and it can be even harmful. There are, of course, an exception to every rule, and there are definitely cases when supplementation is needed and can be beneficial, such as with specific medical conditions, for a clinical deficiency during pregnancy when nutritional needs greatly increase, and even for some nutrients that are difficult to get from food sources, such as vitamin D. To safely use supplements be sure to talk with your doctor and make an appointment with a registered dietitian before you begin any dietary changes. It's best for your overall health to get the nutrients from food sources. Since early times, civilizations have observed the powerful, nurturing, and healing effects of the food we eat. Many of the illnesses, we face nowadays have their root causes due to lack of good nutrition. Many people are confused about what, when, and how should eat. When you take the time to slow down, you should learn how to nourish yourself with whole and real foods, and observes how you feel, then, you can change your health and your lifestyle. Begin with an understanding of the needs of your body to function at its best, and you should know that. Food sources are more bioavailable and are better absorbed by the body. Food considered as part of a nutrient-dense package and has a lot of benefits rather than the nutrient alone. Whole foods contain many compounds which haven't been recognized by scientists, but we know they have many positive effects. And what makes whole foods so healthy is the synergy of those nutrients and how they work together, rather than single compounds. We are gonna start to eat your vitamins series next week, so, what are you thinking about vitamins? To get that train going. You want it to last you a long time. If you're not already definitely hit the bell, subscribe button for new videos, every single week.